Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. And last time we began our jaunt around the tracking stations to uh, try and track our two twins that we wish to impersonate to get to Kurt Hansen. So we managed to do one last time and now we've just arrived at the second one. So let's get into it. So I need to be careful. Need to be very careful. Maybe let's just okay. Let's just check this dude out. Just kind of standing there, chilling his beans. What we'll do is we'll we'll have our pistol at the ready, just in case. But we're going to try and be as quiet as possible. Okay, so got him. If there's anybody else. Oh, yes, there is. Hello. Oh. Why do they disappear like that? That's a little weird. See? Do they? Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Right. Okay, so there's four of them. All right. Well. We could be a little, a little, a little sneaky and a little cheeky. That's all right. We'll take care of this dude up here. Oh God's sake! Feet, get up there. Can we get grip of this dude, you suppose? Oh God! Oh, oh! Turn around, dude! Jesus! Can I grab him? Can I grab him? Can I grab him? <laughs> Here, buddy. And now you're dead. Score 25 for me. The score does keep changing, I know. Now they're all they're all kind of looking that way, so could we maybe pop over here? And possibly take Oh my god, there's more of them. Jesus. Who are you? Who are you? Addison Harvey? Can I no? Can't I mark you? Why can't I mark you? Are they like... Are they innocent in this Sixth Street gang? gang? Excuse me. Wait. There's a camera. Let's have a look. Let's just see what we can see here. Alright. Are these guys being held captive? I think they are, aren't they? Hmm. They are right. Okay. Do you know what? Let's um, let's do something. Really, we can't get round this. Are you having a laugh? All right. All right. All right. All right. What's up? Get him back here. Get him back here. Get him back here. Get him round here. Kill him. Good night, Vienna. Ha ha! Give me all that stuff. Blessed Barbie. Well, well, hmm. Can we do something to distract one of them? Huh, maybe we could. Maybe we could. Maybe we absolutely could. Okay, he's up. He's up. He's up. He's up. That's fine. Okay, alright. Alright. Don't see me, dude. I'm not real. I'm not real life. I promise. Let's, um. Let's do that. Better not be any trouble. Got his attention. <laughs> <gasps> quickly, me, quickly, Jesus! No, help me. <laughs> Look at that! All right, well. What? Can I? Hello? Yeah, disassemble that. I want, I want your stuff. Can I? Thank you. Are those folks okay? Did they, did they escape? Was I supposed to help them with something? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. They ran away. So, well, all right. Is it this?
shut up. Where do they go? I don't know what that was. Did they just run away? I mean, that's fine. I get it. Cactus juice. Well. Alright. Well. Is there anything else for us here? I don't know what those folks were being held for. I did try to help. And I kind of did. Because they escaped. So. Oh, hello. Take those. Is there anything else over this? Gee, I thought there was a body there. I thought there was a. Okay. Hello. Moab El Capitan Reyes. I know I... Listen, I know. I know. We'll have a look in a minute. Okay, let's... Um, let's go and get this, this, this transceiver. First of all, can we get up somehow? Is it on the roof? Or is it in one of these places? Hello. Okay. Aha. There we go. Up. Up we go, up we go. Looking for something? Won't find you here. There's nothing to find. Are you all alright here, man? Um. Hey, is that your mom? Sure, all right. She my doing God. all right? Yeah. Uh huh. She's fine. You sure about that? Don't know. Maybe you ought to tell someone. Nah, she just came down from two days of BD. Oh. She'll wake up soon, snarf a scop dog, and cry about having a headache. She always does that. Alright, well, um, do you know what? I'll be gone as soon as I see the transceiver. Transceiver. Need to jack in quick. Two sucks and I'm gone. You do you. Oh, I thought we might be able to, to do something, but fine, alright. Oh, okay, sorry. Heart. <sighs> Well, God bless it, Bobby. That it ain't working. No. Oh, Jesus. You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. Kid, I am not averse to shooting so, you. Yeah. Turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Do you know what, kid? Thanks, I would have helped no you, thanks. but no thanks. If I know my own. Sure, sure. Yeah, totally. What about ten? I'll help you for ten eds, too. Uh, no, because no, you've got a bad attitude. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going anywhere. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll be fine, thank you. I, uh, I, I don't appreciate the attitude, child. So, um, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll find my way, thank you. Guess there is actually no way to restart this without talking to this stupid kid. Alright, there you go, have your money. Okay, Eddie's are all yours. Nova. Done deal. So, Switch, where is it? I don't know exactly, around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. Never hit a child, never hit a child. All right. Warmer, getting hot. Jeez, I didn't even move. Uh, uh, ice cold. Something over here. So we got to. Warmer. <laughs> over this. Oh, Warmer. for the love of God. There we go. What the fuck? What? My BD! No! Oh, dear. And the best fucking bit, too! Jankass power grid? What? Jeez, I thought that was like a monster or something Woo up there. Oh. Yeah. We're back on, baby! <sighs> you got two surefire fixes. Hard reboot. Or hard kick. I could hard kick you. Oh. Oh, yo, yo, yo! Don't even think about flatlining here! I ain't gonna touch a corpse! <laughs> this... There's gotta be what having a fucking stroke feels like. I d wouldn't know, Johnny. 
Perfect, Johnny. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Wasn't on purpose. Just gotta pick up the pace. Clock's ticking. I'm doing what I can. Yeah. Anything else? All right. Well. Okay. Now we gotta wait again. Oh. All right, kid. Well, it's been emotional. Keep ten creds. No one cared. There we go. Reed, what do you want? Okay. Let's see. Encryption key received. Nice work. I'll get a start on tracking Aurora and Amerik. As soon as they're near Dogtown, we'll know. We're in business. Signal from the tracker is live. Need a couple of hours. Call you soon. All right, dude. What did Reyes want? Car for sale. Okay. Um, listen, I know, I know. You got inflation. Chew H2. Prices are sky high. Everything's going to shiz, yada yada. But that's why life's pleasures are so important, V. If not now, when? Come on, hop on auto fixer already. Look, man, I'll go on when I can. Jeez, dude. Just want what's best for you, V. And it ain't. And it just so happens got the best wheels in Night nice City. Well, whatever, man. All right, so now we have to wait again. Okay. Well. We'll go and find something else to do. Let's see what we've got in the old journal. Hmm. Uh, anything nearby? Oh, oh, what was that? Re-establish connection between Delamain and his... Another cab... Beast and me visit Claire in a garage during the day. Oh! Be on the brat, find the ring in Kabuki. See, it says it's 212 metres away. Alright. Where's my bike? Oh, well, there you go. All that faffing about, honestly. Are you. Are you. Are you alright? I'm just going to go. I'll uh, leave it to your business. Alex, what does Alex want? What? Hey V, now that you've got those pesky transceivers all sorted out, how about stopping by the moth? Kick back, take a breather. Already got a bottle open, the kind for special occasions. What do you say? The hardest part of a mission is always the waiting. Uh, yeah, fine. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, a little drink won't hurt. A little drinky booze. Might want to hurry, the bottle is not going to last long. Well, whatever. I got things to do, ma'am. Oh, it's automatically changed it for me, has it? Well, alright, do you know what? Let's go and have a drink with Alex! Okay. We're here. We've arrived. I wonder if we can talk to these people. And you clean when you come back? And I'll introduce you to Sofia, her baklava. Oh man, you just have to. Can try. I can I talk to you? There's so much catching up to do. It's been ten years. Guess not. Well, that would be a nice feature, wouldn't it? If you could help find the missing people. Maybe you can using the using the the like leaflet thingies that we found. Hey. Hello. You made it. Yes, I did. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Okay. Um. Appreciate the invite. It's good to see you. Glad to see you, Alex. Sweet of you to say. I wrote you because... Because I needed someone to talk to. Oh. Someone outside the firm. Oh, God. And not some total rando. To All take right. my mind off the mission. Not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Funky coasters. Hope that makes sense. <sighs> yeah, you're getting nervous or something? What's up? Didn't want to be alone with your nerves, huh? <laughs> Always used to tell myself, cut the jitters, Alex, you don't get nervous. But for Some a while stuff. now, I've been trying to be more honest with myself. I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. 
just Alex. Well... Do you have moments like that often? Yeah. This happen often. These moments you pine for your old self. Lately? All the time. But I know the old me is long gone. I'm a different person now. Yep. Somewhere under all these masks. People change, you know, over time. We Say, all do. you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Uh. I probably would if I hadn't left Arisaka. Yeah. Head of Arisaka counter in Talon NC. My old boss would probably be dead by now. Me sitting at his desk. Yep. A nice corner office with a view of Corpo Plaza. And the feeling that it all belongs to you. That you're in control. <laughs> Sounds fucking wretched. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, your turn. Come on. In fact, no. To your health. To your okay. health. Take a swig. Why not? Okay, now you. Mm -hmm. Who would you be, if not a secret agent and master of disguise? Mm -mm. An actor. No hesitation there. Wow. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals especially. Oh. Seriously. Call me old fashioned. So, yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Probably. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> um. Hmm. Do you have a dream role? Yeah. Got any dream roles? Norma Desmond, Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> Guessing that doesn't ring any bells. Not a single one. No surprise. It's ancient far as films go. I have a soft spot for tragic characters. Not to mention I see something of myself in her. Neither of us know when to let go. <laughs> well. Hmm. Then here's to a normal life. Yes. To a normal life. May we all enjoy one someday. Hey, oh, Amen. Nice. Definitely. I imagine in this world... Oh, I love this song. All right. She's, what's she doing? She's going to have a dance or something? I'll turn it up. Um. All right. Um Yeah, I'll see Alex. you later, Alex. Thanks. I kind of forgotten how much I miss the simple things too. Yeah. Don't mention it. See you soon, V. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye, Alex. Got a little weird that, not gonna lie. <laughs> there you go. Well, so she wanted to be a an actress in the theatre. A theatre... A theatre star. Well, I suppose. Why not, eh? Why not? Alright. Well. Okay. Let's have a look, actually. What shall we do? Hmm. Find Aaron. No easy way out. Um. Hmm. I guess that's the closest thing. Whoever Aaron is. I can't even remember what Aaron was about. Look, V. This Aaron Tume is a big-handed bee who knows how to handle himself in hot water. Sure, we got to help each other out and all that, but watch your back. You're about to walk into the lion's den. I know you're all about helping lost souls and walking elderly ladies across the street, but please, please don't get killed assisting someone lesser, some lesser bo dog town boxer. Oh, this is a fight thing, isn't it? I forgot about that. Should we go and have a fight? 
Na 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 na. Yeah, let's go and have a fight. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, excuse me, dude. Oh! We were stood in front of the motorbike, you know. Ah! Calm down. I'm going slow. Let's go. Oh, there is a car though. Take the car. I kind of want to take the car. Can we get some pay pay for it? Don't mind me. I'm just just wondering about. We. No, I can't jump fair. Can we can we grab her? No. Can I just take the car then? Is it classy like I do? Oh. Alright, chill out. Me batayla. I didn't want to do this. Didn't want to do this this way. But you gave me no choice. Alright. Can we just get in the car? Let's get in the car. Let's get in the car. I don't got time for this. Out now. Bring her in, huh? Great. Now grab the delivery cords and drive. Oh, we've not got long left. Quick, 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 quick. No. Hmm? Not gonna lie, V. You got a gift. Well, we made it. My Just in time. Take care of the rest. Despite the uh, little token of my appreciations waiting for you in the drop locker. Thank you. Oh, Reed, hello. Finish this another time. What? Right, go ahead. Hey, I got the encryption key for Karen Exotics. Nice work. Alright. Be one other thing. What? You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. Okay. I'm sending you deets for a clinic. The doc will be expecting you. Oh, will Just be. tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. So know you came with my blessing. Unification war trinkets, eh? Farida's clinic. Oh, God. Storms of hell we come. Good God. No, thank you. Jesus. What's this? Ooh, what is it? Oh, we can ride the metro. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay. Ah, we're here. Okay, so her clinic is down. As in down. Nice. She's under here. Aha! There you go. She's under here. All right. So this woman. Farida's Clinic. Alright, uh, hello? Unification hello? War or something or other. Hello? Uh, Farida? Leave Farida? Yes, and we're closed. Yeah. Got something might interest you? I doubt it. Here you collect trinkets. Unification War era. That was easy. All right. Hello, Frida. I'm sorry, I was unwelcoming. Oh, there you are. Ever since a certain space plane crashed nearby, I've had to be more cautious. Why do you have a head in a in a in a box? Whoa, whoa, whoa! V, Jeez. good to see you. What? Oh, hey, Reed. Why does she have a head in a box? I feel uncomfortable, Reed. All right, so. Not letting me out, you say? No, go on. Not giving me any breathing room, huh? Trust an issue. Just looking out. I'm here about Somi. All right. I spent hours wrapping my head around this, putting myself in her shoes. Okay. I needed to understand what she must have been going through too. To resort to treason. Um. Hmm. 
She changed over the seven years. Yeah, she did. Basing your expectations on the woman you used to know. Not on who she is today. Common denominators remain in place. She's trapped. Not just here and now, but going months back. Hell. Actually, years. I blame Myers, the sore loser. Does her damnedest to avoid it. Songbird, the black wall, dirty tricks meant to give her a competitive edge. Hmm. It's no wonder Somi doesn't trust anyone. Except maybe you. A little. Well... Songbird's going to prison? Why would she go to prison? Song should trust you, not me. That it? I can't say I really blame her. I can only blame myself. There you go. But could you have done anything differently? Something. Anything. Instead of giving in and being exiled in Night City a couple thousand miles away. Well, all right. There's a prison cell prepped and waiting for her already. Somi knows that full well. Mm -hmm. She lives to see tomorrow and every day after. That's what matters. Myers needs her alive, sure, but forgive and forget the attempt on her life. Never. Mm. Myers might not forgive her, but doesn't mean I can't. Yeah, but you... Maya's a lot of killed. Yeah, what are you trying to bring me around to here? What, what, what she's trying to sell me, Reed. Yeah. Trying to sell me something. Nothing. I'm merely trying to convince you. Of what? Okay. We break the chain Hanson wrapped around her neck. Then what? Yeah, what's your plan? We stow away somewhere safe. Ask some questions. Establish some common ground. Once I get the answers I'm looking for, I'll personally help it disappear. From everyone, everywhere. Including Myers. <sighs> and what are you going to ask her? Want to ask her a few questions, huh? Mm. To understand her side. Got an idea already of what I'll hear. System broke her. Almost took her life. Like it did mine. As for me, well... My time's well past. But so is still worth saving. Uh, I don't know whether to believe him or not. It is treason, yeah. You know, some would call that treason. Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Hmm. What? I got contacts in Europe. We'll find the best clinic, put you two back together, fix what's broken. Once we have your cure in hand. Well... But I need to help Somi first. She's lost, and I'm concerned she doesn't know what she's doing. You don't trust her? What I don't trust is the shit from beyond the black wall and the attendant paranoia. Both in play here, I'm afraid. She has another plan in mind. I'm damn sure of it. <sighs> what's all this mean next, year? Read you loud and clear. So what's it all mean next? I have something for you. Our best minds in DC cooked it up. Oh. Icebreaker. Silver bullet against any fortified netrunner. Farida will feed it into your system during surgery. Okay. Use that, and Somi will drop unconscious within a minute. We can't take any chances, and when she wakes up, she'll wake up at home. She could sense it, maybe. She's a very good net runner. She could sense the breaker. Not talking about some run of the mill runner here. It's meta heuristic, hyper aggressive tech, cobbled together by a literal army of experts. If she does sense it, it won't matter. No one out there, alone, could withstand somebody like this. How's it work? Okay. How do I use it? Whoa! Read! Fire it up when you're both jacked into the mainframe. At that moment, Somi's door will be wide open. Sure hope you haven't botched this. Well, that's a hope we share then. 
Right now, we're focusing on saving your lives. Talking time will come later. It's time I was on my way. I leave you in Farida's able hands. Hmm. Call me once you're done here. The sooner we begin, the sooner we finish. No chance okay. to lose then. Go on. No time to lose. Tush, meet chair. Talking about my tush. Okay. Anesthesia incoming. I'll just um don't worry, it's the good stuff. Relax and submit. And Relax I modding implant and submit. is complicated tech, true. But the procedure is surprisingly simple. How do I okay, uh This tech actually heard about it. Back at our Osaka counter intel. We thought it got the shop at the prototype stage. Am I gonna fall asleep? As you can see, it yet lives. Chatterbox. You could have cleaned your gloves or put on clean ones. Okay. Anesthesia is taking hold. Why do I get the feeling I'm gonna wake up and be in trouble? Oh, oh, oh no, thank you. Ah. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh my, oh my God. Why is she rolling something up? Ah. I, can I just, just, what is that? Is that my face? Okay. <laughs> oh. Johnny, hey, dude. How many fingers my hold now? Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> nice to see you in good form. Mm -hmm. You want something from me? Do I? To chat. Got no other options. You'll have to do. So tell me, what's it feel like to be a traitor? Uh, yeah, have I got a choice? Come on. You know this is a lose-lose clusterfuck of a sitch. I ain't here by choice. At least you see that. Means they haven't turned you yet. Not completely. The, oh, hello. Come on, got iron in your hand. Gotta put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. <sighs> the master spy and the agent unloosed. Tragedy, comedy, or both. Hmm. Ugh. Tragedy with me as a victim, maybe, yeah. True. Think one of them's trying to dupe me? No, they're both telling the truth. I mean, might be muddy on the nitty gritty, but their motivations are plain and clear. All right. Can I, can I, oh, okay. Survival. It's her be all and end all. Mm -hmm. That and she's a walking, talking nuke. The kind that keeps making mistakes, never knowing which one's gonna set her off. Hmm. And Reed, bastard and me are one and the same. If I hadn't ghosted the army, I'd have become a Reed myself. Live and die by our principles. Damn. That's the tragedy, V. Someone's gonna play victim to the other's good intentions. Try not to forget that when you're standing over that fucking overgrown neuro drive. Yeah, what would you do? Reed? Or Songbird, what would you do in my shoes, Johnny? I am in your shoes, dumbass. <laughs> For every gong choice you make. But I can't do dick. But honest to God, V, not fucking around? I don't know. Got no goddamn clue. Damn. Okay. Well. Well done. 
The facial morph implant is online. Now all you need is a behavioral imprint. And do me a favor. Don't tell me what you need this for. I won't. Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks everything. Thanks for everything. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, I'm just going to take a little, little nose round. See if you got anything of any uh, interest to me. We picked that up, didn't we? Um, anything else? Oh, hello. What's this? Can we use this? Ooh. Special request. I have an urgent request for your services. A friend of mine is applying for a position of great responsibility in a very specific industry. The scope of their duties and associated risks requires unique cyberware. I know you have a busy schedule and this would require some reshuffling on your part, but I assure you their employer, who I am not at liberty to name, will compensate you generously. I understand. Call me and we'll set a time. Wow. Woman of few words. New unit inquiry. Hmm. I've received several inquiries and offers about the DYX77.9, one of which practically leapt off my screen. I sent out all my usual feelers, but found a lot of zilch. Can you ping me if anything pops up on your radar in DT? It's your lucky day. I got a hit and I'm willing to negotiate a price on your behalf. I expect lower than the usual rate because we're dealing with a prototype batch. This means no manufacturer's guarantees, no warranties. I see no red flags, but once it's tested, I'll let you know for sure. An early look at tech specs shows promise. Hmm. Great, and to be honest, Farida, would you sell one of these in your own clinic? I would, and I will. I have a client in mind for one already. Perfect, then I await your SIG to hash out payment and transport details for the rest. Cool. Old friend. Ooh. My dear Farida, I know it's been ages, and I'm truly sorry. I find myself in a few rough patches that force me to go offline for a time. This most recent patch, some friends of friends were willing to pull me up while I recovered. Nothing serious. I only mentioned it because on my third day in their company, they played Commerce Sunshine over breakfast. Jesus, how many years had it been, I wondered. I was literally crying out loud for crying out loud. They didn't know what to do with me. Do you remember how we used to dance? No rhythm, no grace, moving our feet often more to static than actual music on that old radio. A girl, did we howl! I'm still surprised I had that in me. Shiz, I even remember Tim and how he used to gawk at you like a nervous goat. Anyway, I suppose I'm writing you now because that was the last time I ever really felt at home. Anywhere, I miss you fierce, F. I think you're the last person I ever let myself truly get to know. Recently thought I had myself a great man too, but found out quick I was sorely mistaken. But that's another story for another time. I know these old memories don't mirror the people we are now, but since hearing that song again, I just can't shake the feeling that I lost something important in my life. I'm not asking you to follow me as I head east. I just want you to know I was thinking of you. Don't be a stranger. Oh, that's nice. Combat zone? Ah, oh, she's writing a book. She's writing a book. Okay, well, do you know what, folks? We uh, we are gonna leave it there today. Now we now we're trashing Farida's um, clinic. Yeah, now we've got our implants and we are um, pretty much ready to go. I think. So next time we will go and do what we need to do. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.